Hi you guys, welcome back. Um, I am doing a pick a card reading today and the topic we're going to look at is what is going on with this connection. So I have three piles over here, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I'll show you the stone. Number one is this um, kind of uh, brick color stone. This is pile number two. Focus. There we go. Pile two. And this is pile three. So, there we go. Cast your gaze over these piles and take a deep breath. Think about your person, your connection, the question that you have. Um, I'll be picking energy from your field as well as anyone that is um, apparent within your energy. And if you're ready, um, let's get started. number one you pick this brick colored stone let's take a look at what is going on with you and your person please keep in mind that energy can be vice versa so just if I'm picking up on cross this energy, just try to um, take it however it resonates. Let's see, what's going on with pile number one? Keep hearing Jasper. Maybe Jasper is someone's name. at the bottom of the deck the loving energy let's take a look pile number one what is going on eight of wands oh we have two and the five of cups at the bottom okay normally i don't have two jumpers so eight of wands this is the energy of um a very swift a very um, obvious kind of uh, forward movement energy. This could be telecommunication. Somebody could be sending you a message or you, uh, vice versa, sending a message to them. Uh, I feel like this is someone that you are somehow in contact with, but one of you is not feeling too good. The Five of Cups over here uh, signifies a loss. Perhaps this is someone that feel like they have lost you or you felt like you've lost this person um but the energy of coming forward with a message is very very strong because it's the first card you could be dealing with a fire sign that would be uh, leo aries sagittarius at the bottom we have um the emperor which is the aries energy let's see what's going on What's going on with pile one? Who's this person feeling five of cups? Mm. Okay, nine of pentacles. This is a person that is very, very independent and very, very confident and very well off on their own. Somebody that actually, uh, in a way, enjoys their solitude, their time spent alone, um, very comfortable in their solitude. 
Um, this is a person that has, I feel, uh, worked a lot in the past to get into this current position of being comfortable in their own uh, environment, in their solitude. The bottom we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this tells me that this uh, getting to here to the Nine of Pentacles, perhaps you have experienced uh, disappointment and losses and hurt and pain and betrayal in the past, but you have outgrown all of these things and you have arrived to the current stage. Look at how abundant she is. Just adjust that. Look at how abundant she is. The Nine of Pentacles is a very abundant card. This is someone um, quite independent, like I said, quite self-reliant. And I feel like you have done a lot. You have overcome a lot in the past to get to where you are now. This is a beautiful energy. You're very smart, that's what I'm feeling. You're a very smart person. Perhaps good at study, perhaps you're studious, um, or you can just simply be uh, very street smart as well. Death and rebirth, Scorpio energy. Um, the bottom we have the tower. So I do see something perhaps came to an end before and um, you were in this morning stage. However, you were able to come out of it. There is a transformation that is coming or it's already uh, happening. You're in the midst of it. The tower signifies something um, happened unexpectedly. Um, that could have uh, shaken you up. The tower usually signifies uh, things that were built on false foundation, false ground, um, that uh, eventually gets shaken up because the tower was built on false ground. So it's destined to be crumbled at one point. It was never solid. And uh, death in this deck also called rebirth. And we do see this little infinity sign at the bottom, this is a very much transformation uh, uh, with the number 13, which adds up to a four. So this could be, if it's re in regarding to this connection with the person, you guys could be uh, having a soul contract or a soul tie. Uh, this could be your par karmic partner. Whoever this is, the appearance of them into your life has triggered your transformation, which um, initially can be uh, in a way painful because a lot of times when we are comfortable and settled in our own life and ways, it's, it's, it's unexpected change. It's not always welcome, but you will come out of this, um, understand that um, this change is, is in a way always good for you. As long as you're moving forward, it's good for you. Page of Swords and the Tower. So perhaps you felt like this is someone that um, you wanted, you thought that you could have a happily ever after with. Let me just move the cards up a little bit so you could see all of them well. At the bottom we have Ten of Cups. So with the Page of Swords here, I feel like um, someone is still in their thoughts about the other person. Just want to make sure things are focused. Okay. I feel like someone, even um, despite you have communication or not, whatever that's happened between the two of you, someone is still in their thoughts about it. They're not completely energetic, energetically cut off from it yet, even though we do have the death and the tower, which could signify a breakup or separation. And with the five of cups here, we do see that, you know, this sudden change, this separation has caused uh, one or both of you feeling really sad about this and, you know, in a very kind of blue kind of feeling. Uh, but someone is still kind of thinking about this connection. Perhaps they're thinking about how to come back 
in or how to come forward with with the new communication what to say they're thinking uh, I'm, I'm getting scorpio energy quite strongly so maybe you or the other person could have scorpio uh strongly in your chart or just possess the quality of scorpio uh, which can be in love scorpio can be kind of intense um you know uh, they attract intense partners um, but they themselves are um, uh, love big, love really deep in a way. Everything is kind of intensified. Let's see. I do feel like both of you are experiencing this to an extent, a, a level of shock with whatever it is that has happened between the two of you. Uh, because one day, perhaps you were thinking this person could be the one, this person could be you know, the person that I, I, I end up with a long time with or I end up, you know, happily af after with. Maybe some of you even thought about marriage, but then something happened and this just all of a sudden changed everything. And I feel like this impacted both of you, you know, one feeling the tower and one feeling the death. So what is going to happen for group one? I'm wanting to come out. Nine of Pentacle underneath with the Three of Pentacle. Bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Wands. So with this Three of Pentacle here, I feel that this is the energy of you working on yourself. You continue to work on yourself. Um, as I said earlier, for someone to reach this Nine of Pentacle, it took time, especially when you have experienced hurt, betrayal in the past, it's um, like a cycle ended up and then with another cycle coming. So it's through the waves of ups and downs that uh, you learn to save yourself and you learn to care for yourself and love for yourself and become gradually this independent and self-reliant and resilient person. So I feel like somebody is not giving up on that. Um, you or this person, I feel you. Um, are continue to do that, you're going to invest in yourself, you're going to work on yourself because investing in yourself is never going to go wrong. Okay. We have three cards that flipped. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords and Queen of Cups. Let me move these so you can see them. Uh, remember at the beginning of shuffling, the bottom card was the King, uh, the King of Cups. And now we have the Queen of Cups. So for me, this talks about divine counterparts the queen and the king of cups they are of the same elements they come from the same world and they have reached um in their lives a very similar stage with the eight of pentacles here um underneath the death and next to the three of pentacles like i said earlier i feel like you are going to continue to work on yourself i feel like this person is also going to uh dedicate them back into work and mainly work on whether uh, you or this person work in a skill trade like it requires some sort of apprenticeship or some sort of skill that you possess and you're going to continue to polish on that um, and then you're going to put this behind you with a ten of sword this is the energy of some someone finally putting down all of their um, their burden with a 10, you reach the maximum. Next to 10 is a zero, a one. So next to 10, you're gonna have a new beginning. So with this card being here, you have been burdened by something for a long, long time. But the dawn, the light is coming, uh, is coming very soon. So how do you say that? The light is shining, uh, dawning on the far east ground. Um, so perhaps something regarding the direction east has something to do with you. 
At the bottom of the deck, we have temperance over here. So this signifies this Sagittarius energy. So this signifies um, a time of rejuvenation, a time of balancing yourself, a time of, um, again, uh, coming back to your own balance of your ego and your spirituality, practi practicality and your spirituality of um, ca caring for yourself to restore the balance within you. And underneath that, we have the, t the world, 21, which adds up to a three, and that very much um, coincide with the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles over there. So I see this self-caring that you put into yourself is going to make yourself happy. Once you're able to close down a chapter that does not, that is meant to be in the past, once you're able to let go, you'll be able to move on. And we do see an ending of a very tough time coming uh, close to you with a ton of swords being here. So what I am feeling actually is once you're able to heal yourself, to pull yourself, out of that previous kind of chaotic energy, um, you and heal yourself very much. Look at how she is in tune with her intuition, the water here, and on top with this cup or this bowl signifies her emotion with the temperance over here, this balancing your emotion. Once you're able to do that, she is surrounded and protected by light. You want to see that? Yeah. So this is a beautiful card. And this is, um, I'm actually feeling once you're able to pull yourself away from this chaotic energy, something great is coming in your way. With the beginning of the reading, the Eight of Wands over here, I'm really feeling that strongly, that light and information. This could be message from your higher self and your spirit guides, your guiding angels, um, could be giving you downloads and communicating with you, perhaps even through your dreams or through your um, intuition. Um, try meditation if you're feeling you know, a um, apathy, or if you're feeling stressed, try to find ways to to calm down. With the sword energy next to the uh, tower, it's a little bit of chaotic energy in the in the headspace over here. So my advice would be to to try to pull yourself out of that energy because once you are able to do that, you will realize. Um, the next chapter is already there waiting for you very, very much strongly with the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands, the temperance in the world, okay? So let me just pull a Oracle card from the Enchanted Blossom for you. What is message for pile one? from the Enchanted Blossom. Okay. Going to take the first one. The bottom of the deck, we have Patience. Okay, and then we have this card, aspiration. And then we actually have four flippers underneath. We have protection, bravery, and faith. So I feel like these cards really um, are talking about similar ideas I was talking about. Um, aspiration, so uh, this can be uh, asking you to draw, you know, aspiration, aspire to do things that are healthy for you um, to kind of um, find whatever routine or whatever um, whatever it is that you do that pull yourself out of the, the um, five of cups energy 
and uh, to know that you are very much protected okay your guys are always watching over you that's something you should know when you feel you know when things get too hard too chaotic when things are um, seemingly really dark and you don't see one particular path in front of you you should always always have faith because you are protected you are very much protected and to be brave if there is something that you want really really bad you should just not hesitate and find a way to to go for it to make it work okay with the aspiration and the bravery card here and the protection and the faith really tells me re, re um reinsures me that you should trust in the divine um um yeah so with this little bit of um, chaotic energy if you're able to soothe it over to move on from it i really feel like great things are coming for you okay i'm going to pull one card just one from the um i believe this is oracle of the wisdom we got flexibility so um this is a card number nine, 19 which adds up to a 10 which reduces to one this is the new beginning that we were talking about with the ten of sword over here it's it's coming to an end of a very tough chapter and this is something that has been bothering and burdening you pulling you down for a while what is happening is that the light is coming up um, dawning at the far east it's slowly coming up perhaps you see it already what you need to do is to have faith with a flexibility flexible card here it talks about try to be flexible perhaps the new beginning um, or whatever it is that you're expecting is not coming towards you in completely 100 percent the ways that you expect it to be open-minded, be open to it, be flexible to it. Not all things um, is going to come in exact format that you um, want it to or you manifest to. Uh, the thing you have to understand is that um, your spirit guide, they, they, the spirits work in ways that sometimes is beyond our human uh, brain and logic to understand. They will give you um, a range events and people to come in your life and events to happen um, that is good and beneficial to your soul's evolution sometimes we on the surface seems like oh why, why does it happen like that i don't want this i want that particular person but you really need to understand that it's good for your own soul's evolution and that's the only important uh, essentially the only important goal here okay all right group one thank you very much for watching if you like the video give it a thumb thumbs up or comment down below to let me know how it resonated with you i would love to hear your feedback thank you for watching Send you lots of love and light, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye. All right, group two, for those of you that picked this very cute, I want to say it's a coral, but I'm not 100% sure. I picked it up at a beach. Let's see what's going on for group two. I'm already getting um I'm getting fiery energy, so perhaps one or both of you can be a fire sign. What's going on with pile two?
air energy. Okay, let's see. What's going on with Pile 2 in this connection? Oh, okay. We have two cards jumping out. It's very rare. I rarely get two jumpers. Um, but I got that for Pile 1, too. Okay, so we have Ace of Pentacle and Page of Swords. So to me, this signifies a new beginning. This beginning could, um, someone could came, recently came forward to you with a tangible offer uh, in regards to this connection or vice versa. You could have done this to the other person. Mm, let me just make it focus. At the bottom, we have Ten of Wands. So this signifies to me, this brand new beginning is very well earned. The Ten of Wands is someone who has been quite burdened and quite, you know, they've had a tough journey, a lot to experience in the past, and they finally have been able to move away from that and to leave that chapter behind. And now we have, uh, this person enters into a new chapter. I do get the energy that um, you, um because mainly it's you um you're entering into a new chapter with you're looking at love now with a bit more um rational side like the rational side of your brain like you you'd be thinking and assessing a bit more now when it comes to love rather than just like before perhaps more like a younger love energy where you are just like fiery and going all in and just kind of not caring too much about what people say and what, um, you know, uh, whether it's compatible. If you like the person, you go for it. That was kind of the energy that you had before. And now you're able to calm down a little bit, which is good. With the uh, Page of Swords here, so this person could be keeping tabs on you or vice versa. Perhaps um, both of you are quite active on your social media and you definitely um, follow each other one, um, one way or another and you're checking up on each other. Perhaps with the quarantine, you're not able to come in together physically. I, I'm not sure if you're long distance just yet, but there's definitely um, an online kind of stalking kind of information uh, energy over here. And then we have the sun card, which is really really beautiful the sun is one of the it is the it's not one of it's the best card um in all of the 78 decks uh 78 cards um the sun is happiness is contentment it's also a confidence that stems from your core this is the color of your solar plexus which is what we use to receive and transmit a lot of our energy so this signifies a very balanced solar chakra, solar plexus chakra, which is always, always good. Let's see, what's going on in the connection for pile two? Seems like all good so far. What's happening? Queen of Pentacles. So one of you, you or the other person can be an earth sign. So that would be Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Virgo. Um, this is someone very abundant materialistically. This is 3D abundance, the um, uh, Pentacles um, in suits in the tarot. Um, this is also someone, you know, uh, very good at uh, luncheons and throwing gatherings and parties and maintain you know social and connection uh, which probably at the moment you know large parties are not permitted uh, so perhaps you switch that to online um, but in 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 overall this is the person uh, with the energy of um, very good at like hostess for parties and social gatherings and someone who's very um, well connected. Okay, what do we have? Seven of Cups. At the bottom we have the Chariot, which is a seven as well. 
This is very interesting. Seven is a very strong number. Okay, let me move the cards up a little so you can see. Seven is a very strong number. Very, very strong. Um, from one to 10, um, it marks a lot of infinite possibilities, okay? And it stands, it, it's got a very firm energy to it. The chariot usually signifies a forward movement, somebody who is ready to charge in with all they've got. And we see that the, the chariot is, is moving so fast that the surrounding is, is becoming blurry. With the seven of cups over here, perhaps you face a choice. Perhaps you're confused at the moment as to what it is exactly you need to decide on. You are presented with many options. Perhaps you being the queen of pentacles that you are and with the sun on your side, you're so abundant and you're very attractive and you have options. Perhaps at the moment, there is someone you're interested in, okay? With the ace of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, I feel like there's someone you're interested in, um, but you're not 100% sure whether you should like just choose this option just yet. Um, I feel like you feel this person is of your world. Like they understand you, the way you think, your logic, or that you guys share love language. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Three cards. Let's see. Okay, we have four wands, eight of wands, and the magician card. Okay, off the bat, I'm feeling very strongly somebody is manifesting you with a magician underneath the pentacle. If you're the earth sign, the person that the, the perfect host is, the well-connected, uh, sociable person, somebody is manifesting you very strongly. And this person could be... Um, Finding a way to reach out to you very um, soon, like in recent uh, future, or if they have not already. The Eight of Wands signifies a, a swift movement. This could be telecommunication, so somebody could be sending you a message, you know, maybe um, telecommunication, so Instagram, you know, social media, Facebook, or they could text you or WhatsApp you. Um, they could be declaring how how they're feeling about you. I think they view you very, very highly with the sun above the eight of wands. They see you as this very, you have got this very cheerful, kind of bubbly uh, energy surrounding you. And you definitely bright up the room when you walk in. And this person loves that. This person sees you as someone exactly like that, bubbly and very shiny in a good way with the personality and they love that and they're going to make it very clear that they love that about you, okay? Uh, with the four of wands here underneath the page of swords, it's possible that at this moment, this person that wanted to come forward and offer you this ace of cup is still kind of remaining, not silent, but they are, they're not, they're kind of intimidated to come forward to tell you the whole truth, like exactly what they're thinking of you. So perhaps they're just keeping an eye on you, on your social media following to see what, what you've been up to. But what this person really wants is a commitment. The four wants here is a union, is always a happy union. Sometimes it signifies marriage, so it depends on your specific situation because everyone's different, you know, your age, your, you know, um, people who are surrounding you, where you are in your life, which chapter you're at. So this person can want something very um, serious, like a serious commitment um, or just a very, very happy, you know, a lot of um, passion and happy life together with the wands next to the wand, the four and the eight, which is the 12 and reduces to a three. This person wants to build something solid with you. Three is the beginning of building something, okay? And the four and the eight, the eight of course is uh, also infinity sign, which to me signifies a soul tie. So this person could be, you know, your soulmate, or you could feel like you guys could even be twin flame. You could feel like this instant attraction towards each other. 
it's usually um, vice versa, it's mutual, even though perhaps you don't know, <laughs> but you do know now. Um, it's a mutual instant attraction. With the Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands next to each other, what I'm feeling is that this person could also be feeling what you're feeling, which is a little bit confused. Um, usually with the Twin Flame energy, you guys mirror each other a lot. So with this card, I feel like towards, I feel like both of you have the possibility of uh, taking this current relationship up a level, like to a next level with the Ace of Pentacles at the beginning here. This is, don't forget, this is like a seed. This is something tangible. This is signifies this connection has a lot of potential. If you nurture it, if you grow and put your effort and time and love into it, it could eventually turn out to be a great tree or plant, rose, whatever it is that you plant. <laughs> um, and I feel like both of you recognize that about this connection. Um, but with the Seven of Cups, perhaps you guys are still, maybe one of you is still young and you feel like you haven't quite lived out life just yet or there's still something out there that you want. So that could be a factor that is making one or both of you thinking that, am I sure? Um, are we too young to get married? That's what I'm getting. So that could be for one or a few of you. Are we too young to get married? The other could be just um, like a hesitation. What this is essentially is a test. Look, if there is four wands after, so if eventually this connection is going to head towards that direction of marriage, of you know committed spiritual union, um, there's bound to be test before that. And Seven of Cups is exactly what it is. With the Seven of Cups, this person is presented with many cups, but they are, um, they're like this way so you can't see with a fog here you can't see clearly what they contain and you want to choose carefully this person is thinking and he wants to choose the right cup but you see with a snake coming out of here and here with this bad wing not all of the cups contain good choices and and you can't see because he cannot see so this is a true test and when I think both of you actually, not just one, needs to be tested um, about this connection. And perhaps that is where you are now. And perhaps that's what leads you to this reading today. So you have a person on your mind, seems like things are going well. Perhaps you guys are not in physical union. Perhaps you are still like, because of the quarantine, of course, you're still in a relatively not so developed stage but in your heart both of you know that this could lead to something very very passionate and very good it's got a bright future both of you are very strong manifestors i'm seeing that um but you are being tested the thing about being tested is that sometimes life will present you with different kind of scenario it could be money we have the pentacle twice it could be um, another person. Um, it, the test could come in many form. And if you both choose carefully, then I, I see this bright, bright future for you. Let me pull a um, Oracle card from the Enchanted Blossom for you. Let's do it for, for pile two. What message is for pile two? Okay. We have happiness. This is beautiful. Happiness speaks almost the same as the four wands. This is happiness. This is in our 3D world, the four wands and tarot signifies and represents basically the happily ever after, the happiness that everybody is after. So this is very, very good. This is beautiful. Okay, let me pull another oracle. 
from um, this side. I believe it's called Wisdom of Oracle. What message do we have for pile two? I don't think you have much to worry here, pile two, because all the cards are very positive and very bright energy. A lot of potential. Loyal heart and thinker. Wow, that's beautiful. This is, again, 35, which adds up to an 8. Thinker 44 adds up to an 8 as well. And we have 8 of Wands here. Um, 8, 8, 8. So uh, I am feeling this is a strongly soul connection, a twin, twin flame connection. Uh, if that's the case, like I said earlier, you guys could be mirroring each other a lot. So whatever it is that you're going through, you're feeling or you're thinking about, whether positive or negative just keep in mind that the other person could might as well just be feeling the same thing so um if you understand manifestation be careful what you wish for okay sometimes sometimes we are clouded because we are being tested so we don't get to see the whole picture so um be very careful don't act impulsively if you feel like oh my god this person it seems like they, they, they're they're doing something else or whatever it is that the test the form that test comes in just don't uh, don't act impulsively especially with uh, where we are now with many planetary retrograde Venus retrograde um, it's uh, it's wise to think twice and we have the thinker here and this also is a similar energy of the seven of cups the seven of cups is confusion but what it signifies to me is that one or both of you are thinking heavily on your connection, which, um, you know, with the page of sword over there, but overall your energy is beautiful, it's great. With a loyal heart here, look at these two. Isn't this beautiful? They're shaped like a heart and they are queen and king. These two owls are mirroring each other and they're on top of this heart, not shaped, but like this dome that has a heart-shaped door. This signifies, again, your soul connection, how you mirror each other. But you should know with the sun card, with the four wands, the eight of wands, someone cannot be, cannot wait to be with you. Excuse me. They cannot wait to be with you and probably vice versa, you as well. So um, loyalty, obviously, is very important. Like I said earlier, if you're being tested. So, but overall, this is beautiful energy. All right. Um... I hope you enjoy the, vid the video, the reading. Um, if it resonated, um, give it a thumbs up or comment down below to let me know how it resonated, how you find it. And um, thank you so much for watching and I send you lots of love and light. Pile three, you guys chose this beautiful little white stone, which I picked um, at a beach. Let's see what's going on for pile three. What's going on for pile three? What's going on this connection? Getting different energy. What's going on for pile three? One more shuffle. First jumped. First card we have the Three of Pentacles. And at the bottom we have three of wands. So number three can be important. We have three and three. Uh, 
Three is the beginning of building something. The very initial stage of building something stable and solid. As we know, three is quite a stable number. With the three of pentacles here, we'll see somebody is working on something. Whether that being you or the other person working on your connection or you're just simply more focused on work. Okay, beautiful. We have ten of cups. This is very beautiful energy. And at the bottom, we have the world. So with the ten of cups... I see that you guys are wanting to build on this connection further. Um, this is very beautiful energy. The Ten of Cups is um, it is a is a fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, not only from yourself but also from the other person. This is the energy of finding someone that really, in a way, complements you. You guys complement each other, and you're now wanting to build on this with the Three of Pentacles here. And you both see the potential of this connection, which can bloom into this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups um, re represents the happiness that in our 3D world, a lot of people are after. When we say happily ever after, that to me is what this card represents. Now with the world at the bottom, it is possible that, well, first of all, it is uh, sign signifies a uh, fixed sign. So it could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, um, or... What did I say? Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. Um, what's the other fixed sign? It'll come back to me. Um, or you guys could be at a distance with each other. Let's see. What else is going on? <laughs> Something. What's going on for pile three in this connection? What's going on for pile three? Two cards. Ace and five of cup. Bottom we have ten of swords. Mm-hmm. It's very interesting. We have Ace and Five and Ten of Cups. So in the emotional realm, the emotional world of tarot, we have the beginning of love, the middle and the end. It's very interesting. The element that's coming together for this build, for this Three of Cups, is quite an interesting mix. Uh, the Ace of Cups could signify a new beginning in love. This could signify a new love. And the five um, usually signifies a loss. Let me see. Well, with the Ten of Swords at the bottom, I see either you or the other person recently has stepped out or is wanting to step out of a, a emotionally painful ending. Uh, could be a betrayal sometimes. Um, the Ten of uh, Swords is someone who is strengthless that they, they left fighting and they left kind of with all the swords on their back and laying on the beach you know in the traditional and um it's a card of somebody done fighting ten of swords let's clarify what is going on with three of pentacles nine of swords this is the energy of someone very stressed and very very kind of overthinking stuck overthinking in their in their head kind of energy we have ace of swords at the bottom so this signifies that definitely either one or both of you um, are stuck with a lot of mental energy a lot of overthinking in your head space a lot what is the ten of cups We'll see, I might need to clarify. The magician. Somebody is manifesting this happiness quite strongly. Seven of Wands at the bottom. This is the energy of someone who's unbothered, 
unaffected by what's going on outside. You see here, she is in her own aura, which is like, like a protective bubble of her with all these wands coming in with a sharp energy that wands represent coming to her. She's her solar plexus is so bright and she's protecting herself from within, drawing her inner strings, uh, protecting herself from any external factor that might be trying to affect her or the energy. What's going on with the Ace of Cups? I did see the Queen of Cups in the pre-shuffle and now we have the King of, sorry, I meant to say Queen of Wands and now we have King of Wands at the bottom. This um, this is definitely fiery energy, uh, Aries Sag Leo, Sagittarius, uh, with the Three of Wands over here. This is a new love a be or a new beginning in love that somebody has been planning. The three of wands is the energy of waiting and planning, kind of strategizing kind of energy. And obviously with the three of wands here, we know that um, your person feels a lot of passion and fire towards you and vice versa. Um, take it however it resonates. But with the king of wands at the bottom, we know this person is... It, they like you a lot, you know, they when they think of you, they have a lot of fiery energy. Uh, with the Ace of Cups over here, they have love for you and they have passion for you. The King of Wands is also the energy of an entrepreneurial person. Um, this is a visionary, this is somebody who has a lot of ideas and very creative. And they're very good at finding people to help them realize their vision into the 3D reality. So you could be dealing with someone slightly older, someone, someone mature or more experienced within the work, a work, career, or business world. That's, what's going on with the five cups? The world okay the world can signifies um, ending uh, with the world clarifying the five of cups I do see that you or the other person have experienced loss hurt betrayal um, you know um, dark shadow time in the past perhaps in your past relationships perhaps in your childhood. Um, and what I think is that that has now come to an end and you need to draw the strings and find the right reasons to close down that chapter because whatever it is that has hurt you in the past have made you stronger now and you have learned from your lessons, okay? And you have beautiful things with the cards um, in the spread. You have beautiful things waiting for you in the immediate and near future you're manifesting it you're waiting for it to come in perhaps things are a little bit delayed or on hold because of what's going on you know in our globe right now but you have plan and you see you see your ideas in in a way you already know something this is someone or something that you want so draw the strings to close that chapter because right now your energies are beautiful except for the nine of swords over here. So perhaps regarding work or perhaps regarding to the, the ability to build on a connection with someone, like once you enter into a stable like dating period, you may, one of you might may possess problem with that. You might find it not very natural or you don't, you're not very experienced in that and you don't know what to do. Sorry. Um, perhaps you're not as confident when it comes to you um, entering into a stable committed relationship, but all of that is in your head and you really need to let that go, close down that chapter. At the bottom of the deck, here we have the Fool. 
This is the energy of someone having minimum baggage and is willing to start over. The fool is in a way careless in a good way that he or she is willing to jump off the cliff and just have so much faith that the universe is supporting her. Um, I'm seeing her because right now here in this deck we have a we have a girl here, but you know take it however it resonates. Could be he. Um, she has so much faith that she is supported that she's not even afraid of risk or what we might see as like negative consequences. So she's definitely not a person overthinking, which is the opposite of the Nine of Swords here. The Nine of Swords energy is someone really overthinking and quite stuck with the overthinking with the nine birds up here and the, the only one that is absent. She's so focused on what she does not have. She's not, she's not seeing and she's lying. She's not seeing what she has and she's letting all that create so much mental stress and energy that to the point that she can't even sleep. But if she look out the window, she will see very soon the dawn is coming. It's dawning. So the sun is coming out. The light is, is coming. So with those energy over here, I want to say that um, perhaps try meditation or, you know, a daily affirmator um, or um, there's some podcasts that may help. Whatever it is that you do that help you, um, you should come back to that to create like a habit to kind of reaffirm your positive thinking and attitude. Let me just pull one card from the Enchanted Blossom. Let's see. Message for Pile 3. Message for Pile 3 regarding Okay, we have passion. This is very beautiful. Let me get the book. Okay, so the passion card asks, what are your greatest passions? How can you incorporate them into your daily life? Your passion drive and direct most of your experiences. We pursue our fascination in our hobby, purchase and action in our decision making. Passion is often the driver's seat. In the driver's seat, this card urges you to kick your passion into higher gear. It's time to allow your desire, even in smallest ways, to find. Define and make plans to explore, engage with your aspiration as often as possible, even when others tell you it's silly. Take classes, do research, learn about the area you're passionate about. Your passions are your own and no one else's. Follow them down the rabbit hole and enjoy the ride. So this is in a way telling you to follow your passion, follow your heart. Like I said earlier, if there's something you want already very, very much, it's like you have a wish over here and you're overthinking about what if you know it doesn't come true what if what if this could be regarding you know your hobby or life work or a person um don't let the what if stops you okay um trust in your intuition follow your passion now one more card from the i believe it's called the wisdom of oracle by colette baron reed Let's see, message for pile three. We have poised. Which, uh, this is a card number 48, which adds up to a 12 and it's a three again like the beginning of the spread which is three of pentacle three signifies the beginning of building something 
poised, being ready, bring something to light, being at your best, confidence. Let's see, the relationship message is when you're confident and happy in your own skin, you're ready for a deeper, more intimate relationship. You have nothing to prove right now. You're completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be. So that is very, very beautiful. That is probably one of the best place to be because you're so unafraidly is that a word i don't think it's a word but you're so unafraid and you're very much being yourself to the point that you know you're you're attracting abundance love positive energy positive connection and light into your life so let go of fear all right, my love. So thank you so much. That was the reading. If you find it, uh, you resonate with the reading, let me know. Comment down below. Give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe. Um, I send you a lot of love and light. Thank you very much for watching and spending your time with me. Um, yes, and uh, have a good night. I'm about to have a good night. Ciao.